in this lesson let's take a look now at the next menu the portfolio so the portfolio when you click on this it gives you different uh, images here you can click to zoom or to view so this is an additional extension from Zoom Shaper that they created. So this in itself is not page builder, but it's another extension that you can be able to use. Now you do have some of the capabilities here for page builder as well, but in this particular case, the portfolio is not part of it. So let's go back to the back end here and click on uh, the portfolio. So I'm just gonna open this in a new tab. So this is, uh, the extension that you can be able to add, let's say you are a designer, as you can see here, and you want to showcase your work, you can showcase your work here in different ways, whether it's, it's new design, latest design, and whatever you want to call it. So now this is the menu, and let's go over here. So as I mentioned before, you can choose the menu item type. Once you select it, you can see SP simple portfolio you can use the default which has been selected and then you have the simple portfolio settings here you can choose different categories you can choose the layout settings you can choose the number of columns you can choose the, the thumbnail size you can choose the pop size pop-up size so let's take a look uh just a pretty a quick glance at the portfolio extension once again, I'm not going to cover this extensive, extensively, but just enough for you to know how to change it. So if you want to find any extensions, extension or third party add ons that did not originally come with page builder or with with Joomla. So they created it um, for extra features. So you go to components and you want to go to SP simple portfolio. This is where all the items that you see here are located. So if you wanted to change anything here, any images here, you can just come back here. Let's click on this one, for example. You can add an image if you wanted to add a video URL for a video to show when it pop up, you can do that. Now, the reason why it's shown that unable to load user H7, if you have this, don't worry about it. What happened is that the person that created it, um, it gave them a different, every user has an ID. So when I install this, my ID doesn't match with this one because I'm not the um, ID that created it. So if you get this message, you know, don't worry about it too much. Not a big deal. So this is where you put in the title. You put in the alias for search engines. This is where you put in a video URL. And this is where you put in your client or whatever name that you want to go there. So let's take a look at this one. I believe this is the matrix. So it's, let's see the matrix. All right, so it's this one here. So you have the option to either zoom or to view. So you click on zoom, and this is what happens. Pull up this beautiful image. And you can exit if you want to go to view. It takes you to the actual page where you can be able to give a little bit more information. Like this is where you see the jump declined, the date, and the tag. So with the tag, I'm going to go over that in a second. So what the tag is, is it allows you to add more stuff. So you can create multiple tags that you want to be able to use. So you can create a tag and attach an image to it. Right now, this one image is attached to just the office. So let's go on the front end here so you can see what that means. It makes a little bit more sense. So right now you see home, office, outdoor. If I click on office, I have just two images that are shown for office. If I click on home, I have more if I click on outdoor. So what I'm going to do is I can right now I can add more images to the office with just a couple clicks. So if I want this matrix holistic, which is just part of the office. So let's go back here. The office. You see this here and you see this other one here. I want to be able to add this one to other items. I'll just click on the drop down and I click on outdoors and I click on home. So anytime that I select any one of these, that particular item is going to show on all of them. Okay. So let's just close out. Or oh, before we do that, you can also choose to publish on um, publish it. You can choose to access. Once again, you can choose creation date, but all that stuff really doesn't matter. And you can choose the user that this is connected to. So if I choose this user, then that message is not going to be there anymore. So as you can see, once I saved it, that message went away. So let's close this here, and I want to show you a little bit about the tags. So 
before you can add anything here you want to be able to create categories okay categories can be home office whatever you wanted to showcase so you go to categories and then you click on new this is where you put in the information you can put the option but don't worry too much about this option stuff here just now if you want to create a category you just do that and then you click save and close you can create multiple categories and also sub category so let's close this one out and you want to go to tags once again the tags outdoor office and home that's what the tags are for so i'm going to create a new tag to show you some example so let's just call this new tag joomla and then click save and close first the auto the alias whatever title you have here is going to automatically generate it from the title so just click save and close so now let's go to this page and we're going to refresh it now you don't say show up here right that is because we haven't assigned any image to that particular tag so let's go back here and we're going to assign an image to this tag so go back to items and let's just take this the matrix so now what I want to do is I want to click this drop down. You notice that we have this additional tag. So let's click on this and we are going to click save and close. When we click save and close, you're going to notice that the tag shows up. Now we have additional tag we added, which is called Joomla. So when I click on it, it shows up just that image that we added to it. So once again, this is a great way for you to add different images or videos, showcase your work break it down it's really really an awesome way to you know have this type of layout so that's what this portfolio tab uh, talks about so next let's move on to the gallery menu